more people will come to Jesus in a new church setting than in any other way. And I went, that's it. That is the strategic thing that if we want to rob hell and we want to make heaven richer, we do it by starting churches. Say it out loud, we're moving the world around. Careful you don't look down, you might be the last one out. We're here to stay. Rejoice again in the God who called you, and you'll rejoice again in what he's called you to. You'll find again the courage to love people in the mess, the courage to look for opportunities, even though there's all kinds of obstacles, and you'll find the courage to keep doing it over the long haul. I say it now, we're starting a revolution against our own confusion. There will be no illusion when we say it out loud. I'm here because ultimately I think the Spirit wants to work among people through church plants. And I look to you and I'm thankful for your example. I wonder if you might take a challenge to say, thank God for what you've done, but not ask the Lord for what he would have you to do. There is power in Jesus. There is power in the gospel. There's power in this work we get to be a part of, that we be courageous. And when we go back to our communities, we'll do things just a little bit differently with a little more trust in God, a little more challenge, a little more risk. We're going to go take territory because that's what God has called us to do.